If you ask a local, a lot of places don't even compare. Ketchikan is a pretty amazing place. There's culture, and if you're really lucky, there's a little one. Maybe a killer whale or two. There is a from May to September. So welcome to Ketchikan, guys. Welcome to Snorkel, Alaska. Cruise ships bring about a million visitors to Alaska's first city. And there's tons to do, including one activity, which less than a half percent of visitors will ever experience. Alaska is known for its pristine wilderness and spectacular views. But few have seen the depths of its beauty. Now I know what you're thinking. That water looks sinister. It's dark, cold, wakes you right up. And yes, that's a way. <laughs> While snorkeling in Alaska seems crazy, for the past 16 years, it hit me with a tail. it's not as cold as you would think it is. We've got really thick suits. Snorkeling is how Fred Drake makes a living. People think snorkeling in Alaska, they think you're absolutely crazy. But as soon as you put your face in the water, there's all these colors, purples and reds. And I think that's what blows people's minds. Is as soon as you put your face in the water, it's a whole other world. A world that Fred and his team of guides gets to share with people like Eva Daniel every day during the summer. It's definitely quiet and everything, all the money in life, it's way more money in life than I expected it. And it's everything is so big. Those sea stars, it's humongous. This one was in 35 feet of water and that's at low tide. That's a spiny pink star. See these really long two feet suction cups here? He could reach way down into the sand to pull clams out of the bottom. For more than an hour, we snorkeled, weaving our way in and out of rocks lining the coast, blindly swimming through an underwater forest, coming face to face with several creatures along the way. There's kelp, there's sea stars, sea urchins, all these varieties of fish. You never know what's gonna come swimming by. While some are potentially dangerous, if you fall on them, and pale your skin for sure. Others aren't, like this shrimp, that came out of hiding to investigate the big mammal holding the small camera. As for the much bigger mammals, from orcas, humpback whales, seals, sea lions, they're here too. It is amazing, it stops your heart. And if you spend as much time in the water as Fred, swimming with a pod of killer whales isn't out of the question. You're kind of terrified, you don't know what it's gonna do. We all swam to the other side of this rock. I put my face in the water and the orca went right underneath me. Everybody else was just starstruck looking at these, you know, dorsal fins slicing through the water 10 feet away from them. Well, not every trip involves a close encounter with orcas. Simply taking a dip and exploring Alaska's underwater wilderness is special enough. For Extreme Alaska, with photojournalist Mike Niederbrock, in Ketchikan, Blake Essig, Channel 2 News.